Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm here at the Trenton's Farmer's Market at Cafe Creole. Every Sunday, Cafe Creole does one of my favorite things ever, ever since I had it for the first time. Shout out to my boy, Reggie. He put me on to something called Soup Jumu. It's the most delicious thing ever. They got it here every Sunday. They also got other good things too. I'm gonna show y'all as well, but I'm up here early because I wanted to just capture the process and all that. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. Cafe Creole, Trenton Farmer's Market. Cafe Creole in Lawrence uh, Township, New Jersey, on the farmers market, that Trenton farmers market. The he took with Trenton, Jodia, and that fair soup jumu. Traditional, no, 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 avec audience uh, monsieur uh, JL Jupiter so il presque pas et nous connais grand pile non nous tout qui commencer pas manger viande qui va aller manger viande même si c'est pas chaque jour qui doit aller enjoy ce jour moi nous fait youn tout qui pas gagne viande que nous fait qui vegan et ou pas enjoy les ça ou pas gagne tout uh, you know uh, viande beurre ça là dedans ce jour moi c'est our most proudest dish. Okay. It's our independence uh, meal, January 1st. Oh, well, should I say J December 31st? Mm -hmm. We start cooking squash soup at midnight. Mm. Like 11.59, we start cooking. And every January 1st, that's the meal that everybody has. It usually lasts for a week because we <laughs> make big batches like that at home, even if there's two people at home. So it's really hearty. It's soulful. It's really really beautiful and delicious um squash we put everything plantains potatoes um celery onions cabbage you can forget the cabbage turnips is really what gives it the haitian subjumu taste mm. so it's a lot of vegetable we also make it with meat cow feet and we have two versions we have one with you one without meat just so y'all know if you google trenton farmers market it says closed, but she's open. There's a separate entrance for Cafe Creole that, can go, that you can enter from the side, and she's open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, correct? Actually, Tuesday through Sunday. Tuesday through Sunday, look at I did not know that. So Tuesday through Sunday, Cafe Creole is open. If you want soup jumu, it's every Sunday, but we're gonna show you some other things that she's about to do. She's talking about her wings. I can't wait for that. And I see she got peppers too. Is that habanero? Yes. Habanero. Talking my language right now. She habanero, got Habanero, and then, you know, we have all the uh, herbs and mm. spices, cilantro. I want to eat me a raw habanero with the soup jumu later. That's how I'm going to do it. Show them people what the habanero is here for. He wanted me to do habanero, too. Yes. When I was little, growing up with my dad, mm -hmm. um, we had a maid in Haiti. It's, um, it's, a uh, pretty usual to have a maid so because i was really i was a really bad kid i wanted to be outside all the time one way my dad found to keep me inside the house is being in the kitchen believe it or not i hated oh, okay. it i hated it but i was six six or seven years old and by the time i was 10 i was cooking a full meal for the whole family yeah i Anyone who knew me when I was little in Haiti and they tell them I had a restaurant, like, oh yeah, we know, we knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I had my first restaurant in Williamsburg in 2011, and then we ended up closing. And this is actually my third restaurant. Nice. So yeah. So, I'm gonna put this in here because this is gonna be the vegan one. The, the aromatics here is unparalleled. I mean, the squash soup, she takes it out, she goes, goes ahead, puts it in the blender, and then she separates batches, the vegan batch, and you have your traditional batch. I mean, it's just 
Something about this is very exciting because it takes a lot of effort, a lot of love into this particular dish right here. So, I mean, shout out to all my Asian folks. What's that right there? The coffee. It's the... It's actually coffee? been cooking since yesterday. Is this coffee? Mm -hmm. One time for Soup Jumu. Hit that like button if you just like what you've seen. That was a whole party, a whole festival going into that pot right there. It's easily like a, what do you say, like a five gallon pot. You know what I mean? So once you see the pasta box come out, you already know we're not, we not too far from eating this stuff, man, because that's the last thing that goes into this soup is the pasta. Mm -hmm. Haitian food knows what pickles is so it's really spicy acidic it's a topping really you put it you eat it with plantains wings you know anything if you like spicy food you can add it it's like an all-purpose thing all-purpose <laughs> it's like hot sauce but better she ain't lying about that I just love what Miss Winnie's doing here. Like, it's kind of like, it feels like a celebration that happens here every week, Cafe Creole. The way she's cooking it, the way she's putting so much love and care into the food. This is like a great way to end off the week or begin your week, however you want to look at it on a Sunday. But it's definitely a great meal, kind of like a celebratory day. Yeah, it's like, it's like a ritual here. It feels like it's uh, religious, you know what I'm saying? The way she's doing it back here. Delicious, but it would not be soup jumu if you didn't eat it with a friend. Thanks, man. I love you, brother. I love you too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You ain't no friend, man. You my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Soup jumu for the win. Look at this. Squash soup. Got the beef in here. Fantastic. You know what I mean? I'm here at a Caribbean spot too, so I might as well. As for some pickly, what's it called? Pickly. Yeah. And jalapeno or habanero. I told I told Miss Winnie I like my thing spicy. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do it just like that. Add it all on here. It's time for a celebration. For sure, for sure. All right, so we here now. I'm here with the homie Miz. What up? What up? What up? And. Miz didn't want to um, 
put the extra habanero in there or the piccoli either because he's kind of scared. I already right, use it up. Oh man, he, he see he. I use, I use it up. Man, I can go ask for a bit more. Can ask for some more. Let me see that cup, man. We gonna recycle. Oh, we gonna recycle. Go ahead. You don't want no habanero? They got habanero in here. She put no, some... I put a I put an extra fresh one in here. Oh, she put she put an extra habanero in here for me. I didn't really see it. Let me see. Yeah, see no, she had just piccoli she was in there. She was cutting it up back there. She was like, yo. All right, go ahead. I'll let you live. You know what's crazy too? You sitting on the edge of this ultra wide angle lens. Yo. <laughs> I look skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it right here. Y'all see it? You ready to go in, Chief? I'm ready to go in. I've been actually thinking about this all week too. Yeah, hey, you've been thinking about this for a long time, For man. a long time. I ain't gonna lie to you, because you've been talking about trying to find somebody to make this suit for the longest time. Let's go in. Right, now I don't know what part I'm gonna go in first. I'm gonna go for a turn. Mm -mm -mm. That pickly, that squash. Yo, like the yo. love that she put into this soup, Jumu. Yo, shout out to all my my Haitian people again. Mm. Oh. It's hearty. Mm. Oh. It's hearty. Got that nice sweetness to it. Nice spice. Activating the umami right now. I got mm. the root vegetables in here. I mean, oh, yo, the vegetables is one I thing. I love that. it. We've been talking about getting like vegetable stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the word you use, man? When we were talking yesterday, man. Re recalibrate. Recalibrate. Yeah, I like that fancy word right there, man. Recalibrate. Recalibrate. Your like, I was admitting to my viewers yesterday. You know, Uncle Jupiter has been going kind of hard in these streets. You know I mean, a lot of steak, a lot of fried stuff. And I was telling my boy Miz, I went to a vegan spot yesterday and just recalibrated me, like. Just eating fresh stuff, you know what I mean? Not overly uh, overly fried. Nothing wrong with that, but what we do here for for our channel can take a toll on us, and the, and the food affects you mentally too because you don't know what to eat. And you know, when you do get something to eat, you try to figure, yeah, this is, this, this is the part I hate. I hate the part where I feel like I'm, I'm gonna get something to eat just because I wanna vlog it instead of just going out and enjoying it sometime, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, Sometimes it's good to get something refreshing and even block This is delicious, Chief. Wow. Well, this is everything I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. This is uh, mind-blowing, man. Like, this is a... Just a party, you know what I mean, happening in this bowl. Going in my mouth. <laughs> I, I was going to leave that out. <laughs> this beef right here. So she cooked this prior, so it's super tender. Y'all see that? Got the nice greens in here. All this root vegetable, very healthy. Mm -mm -mm. Very hearty soup. Yo, that piccoli is actually giving it a nice acidity, a nice sourness to it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I just had some of that beef. Bro, Aww. try it out. Go ahead. Shoot, what this hitting for? Mm. Tender. Mm. Mm. I'm about to go back and ask for some more hot, man. You, you should. I, I felt I felt like some of that squash, like, um, oh. you know, made it more mild, but... Here it is. Here's the beef, which is super tender. Miss Miss Winnie was cooking it um, the night prior. You gotta slow cook this beef. Yeah, it's fabulous. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Give me another one, man. That's a knee slapper, dog. <laughs> oh man! Just when I thought you couldn't go here, you could. Oh, <laughs> so good. When you go here, you do something like this, man. <laughs> And there is a vegan version of this too, minus, you know, all the, the meat products. I'm telling y'all right now, 
the amount of love she puts into the soup, she makes it every week, Sunday. But she got some other stuff too, but this right here is a... Yo, I'm happy for this, man. I'm so happy, yo. Y'all know I kind of retired the saying, right? But Soup Jumu is a game changer, dog. Facts. <coughs> In the back about though. Growing up, I used to not like it so much. But yeah. as I got older, it's one of them I can appreciate it. My mom used to make turnips. And I'd be like, ew, man, turnip got like it got it has an earthy taste to it. I don't, I didn't like that growing up. But then he like too. beets. I didn't like beets growing up, and I. I love me some beats now. I love me some beats now. I love the earthiness. You know what I mean? Like, it's like our our taste buds mature. I don't know because of drugs or alcohol. Oh man, yo! If soup jumu was crack, I'd be a crackhead right now. Yo, straight up. If this was crack, I'd be a crackhead off top. All right, it's time for the habanero. Miz didn't get it because he's scared. It's all good though, man. Some, some people just ain't built for this life, you know what I mean? I guess I ain't built. Show them people what the hot vanilla hitting for. He wanted me to do hot vanilla too. Shucks. Mm. You know how they say some stuff go right with the weather? This go right with the weather. Any cold I had on my body, I just I just shook it off. We we'll try it out. Let me ask her. Mm. Wow, he want me. He want me to tear my mouth up. Miss Winnie, yeah. can you bring a habanero? One more habanero for my friend over here. He's oh. he said he wants a habanero. Yeah. yeah. Is it you? Yeah, he gonna try it. Cause I, I'm eating mine. So he gotta eat what I got. <laughs> Yours probably was better. Yours is all soaked up in the, in, the, in the broth. And I'm almost finished my broth. No, you're not. You just want me to do this. You think I'm going to punk out with that? All right, I got to get that in some, some soup broth, man. Hold Go ahead. Cheese. Let that thing marinate a little bit. I'm almost done. And I had that habanero. That's the thing. So, 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 beef. So, so, so what you want me to do, man? Yeah. Ah, man, that's it. This is this is for all y'all. I got green on the day. If you gonna cough, make sure you cough that way. Yeah, I got y'all. You know, Merry Christmas. So, uh, that ain't Christmas. You know cough that way. It ain't hot. No, it's not hot. There. There. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Haitian soda, fruit oh, champagne. Y'all see that? I don't even need it, but I don't. Wait, 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 what's up? We gonna be cheesy today about this then? That was good. That was refreshing. That was hearty. And it ain't too fulfilling either, man. It ain't nothing that I feel like, oh man, like usually I'm like, oh man. And it's mainly like, it's mainly squash. You know what I mean? Squash, squash turned into a soup base. Got the beef broth, the beef in there. I mean, mad vegetables, mad root vegetables. Got the nice spice. I mean, I can't recommend this place enough. You gotta try Soup Jumu. Like one of the, one of, one of uh, Haiti's gifts to the world. You know what I mean? I feel like, we don't talk about Haitian cuisine enough. I mean, just look at Soup Jumu. Look, look what we just had. We annihilated it. And come check this place out. Trenton's Farmer's Market. They're open Tuesday all the way to Sunday. And come they, holler at Miss Winnie. they make soup, soup Jumu every day? No, Soup Jumu is only on Sunday. It's worth it. <clears throat> so worth it. But try out the other things too. She, she talks about her wings as well. Yeah, so these chicken wings she's about to make for us, it's a... Uh, it's marinated the night before, then she boils it, like flash boils it in some sort of seasoning, and then she deep fries them. Sounds like a winner to me, let's check it out. Oh, we have... This thing's steaming. 
So she has like a variety of sauces that you can choose. Uh, I wanted them butt naked. I wanted to see how it tastes like this. And then from there, I'll go ahead and try out her house, house sauce. House sauce right there. They want to see the house sauce looking like. Okay, go ahead and go in, my brother. I got a house sauce. We'll go to house, house, house sauce. Ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers, Cheers y'all. Mm. Oh, did we open that? Uh oh. This this was some of that rice and that pickly. Ooh. We didn't put the sauce on it though. I'm about to go in. We use that as a spinoff. So I'm quite sure that. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that sauciness, y'all. It's too close. It doesn't focus in that close, probably like right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh. No, that's like a spice. I mean, a smoky. Oh, huh. Hold on. You gotta, you gotta try it with that house sauce. So, what's that? Just try it. Got a mustard, a little smoky, a some ketchup. Some turmeric, maybe? Some cumin? I don't know. Oh, mm. Whatever it is, full flavored, very bold sauce, like mm. mayonnaise based, I believe. Whatever it is, it knock me right off the monkey. It's a another staple. Let's try it out. And it's fried plantain and some rice and beans. Mm. Look at that. So we got the rice here, you got the fried plantains. You got the, the deep fried pork shoulder and you got the pickly. Fried grill, fried grill. What's it called? Fried grill. Fried grill. With the pickly. Mmm. That's good, man. Oh, God, darn it. <laughs> nice deep fried taste, but. This, what stood out to me was just the moisture of that pork. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Paired up with that pickly, mm -hmm. undefeated type stuff, man. East, we're gonna wrap up this video with some mac and cheese. I love the, the oven baked top. Gotta hear that crustiness. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice and cheesy on the bottom. Just that mac and cheese language right there. I heard somebody say they don't like the like the, the burnt part of the macaroni and cheese. It's what? Crazy. The burnt end? Give me that all it's day. Never, man. They was like, oh, I was like, ooh, that's a lot of it. Eat all that middle stuff. Give me that. Give me the edges, man. That's what I want. Look at that, man. Yeah. Everything avocado toast delicious too. Cheers. It fumbled in my plate. Size, you got it. You want to get a big size or small? Do you want to eat here or you take it? Mm -hmm. Three tables over here. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Mm. What you think, Mizzy macaroni? My baby love. So creamy. <laughs> Yo. Mm. Nice oven baked top. Creamy in the middle. Not a little cheesy. You know what I mean? Like your your classic. Like if you if you gave this to me at somewhere else, I'm thinking to myself, where'd you? What soul food restaurant did you go to? They just, I ain't know it was gonna come up, come out of Cafe Creole. Miss Winnie does it all. She can do it all. Look at this mac and cheese. Look at this. You got busting with the 50 cent five can. Do it. It can. Oh my gosh. Mm mm mm. I'm going to drop my plate. Yeah. That crusty top. But either way, we out of here. Make sure you follow the homie Miz. We're going to toast this meal. I felt like I, we just had Sunday dinner for breakfast. Are oh, you done already? We, we can act like I got something there. All right, listen. Nobody got to see the bottom of my cup. I got, I got clear in here, y'all. Yeah. I can't look out for all the work for <laughs> Yeah, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe, come support Cafe Creole. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Truly an amazing experience. It was, man. I thank you, man. I thank you, man, you know, for waking me up. It's, well, first of all, I thank the man who said wake me up. <laughs> I think, you know, he was like, yo, man, tomorrow we going, um, we going to go to Cafe Creole. I was like, all right, cool. Man. I woke him up early, yo. We don't wake each other up like, good morning. I don't do all that, man. I, I said, I said, you probably curled up like a, a duck fetus. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like, I was up, man. That alarm was, was set, man. I was like, I'm going to hop out the house, you know. You know how we do it. You know, we slap some brood on, you know. Throw when, some brood on. House, man, you know, but. But he's out of here. Yeah, we probably going to be back. Um, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the homie. Follow Cafe Creole. Make sure you come support her. She's here. She does. Uh, she has your specialty items as well, but she may freak it a little bit from time to time and do something different. But she's she's doing good stuff here. Definitely. I'm full. I have like an hour and a half drive, maybe two hours depending on traffic. I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.